The goal of the project for this week was to make a upgraded wood burner for my CNC machine. In my past video I made a wood burner but I wasn't quite happy with how easy it was to interchange so to take off the spindle and to put on the wood burner apparatus I made it, it took too much time and it was too much of a fuss and I realized I never used it. So what I decided to do was to 3D print a new wood burning assembly so I could put the wood burner in this new assembly and be able to bolt it directly to the CNC machine very quickly and, uh, and use it more often because a tool that's hard to use is a tool you don't use very often. The first step of the project was to model my new device in Fusion 360. To do this, I needed to know the angle of the wood burner because the wood burning tool I have has a taper as it goes along so it's thicker at the base and, and skinnier at the top. I guess it's more ergonomic for a hand to use, but it's a little bit harder to mount into a any sort of device that you make because it's not a consistent radius all the way up. So what I had to start off with was I brought a sketch, or a photo I should say, of the wood burner into Fusion 360 and I placed my calipers around it so I could get an accurate measurement. After I got my picture into Fusion 360 and got it uh, properly scaled, I then traced the outline of it and used the revolve tool and simulated the shaft or the handle of the wood burner. That way I know exactly what dimensions it is inside of Fusion 360 so I didn't have to constantly take measurements and try to figure out the taper. Um, is this necessary? No, but it was kind of fun to give it a shot. After I simulated the handle of the wood burner, I could then create the bracket to hold it. So I created the bracket and took into account all of the features I wanted the bracket to have. So the bottom portion of the bracket I wanted to be able to be uh, assembled. So two pieces that could be bolted together. That way you could easily remove the wood burner if it burned out or if you got a better one or if there's some other tool that you could use, possibly a pin or, or any other sort of device. Uh, you could quickly and easily install it. So the bottom part was two assemblies and then the top part was a single block. And in this I, I designed around the idea of having four rods that allow movement in the Z direction but none in the X and Y direction. This project was a very good learning opportunity for me to use Fusion 360. I am by no means an expert so I'm not going to go into the depths of it. Um, Let's just suffice to say that there was multiple iterations of this design and, and multiple 3D prints before I got it correct. So I've sped up the video here. There's nothing special, I'm just putting all the components together to make the wood burning assembly. All right, so this is the wood burner, all glued up, ready to go. Here are the features. So in here, I put a spring, and what that does is it allows the wood burner itself to move up and down. Because as in my last video, um, if you're wood burning on top of a, a piece of wood and there is a valley, and if you don't have any sort of pressure on that wood, your wood burner is gonna probably miss that valley spot. And vice versa, if you have a peak, your wood burner is going to go over it and just gouge right through it. So that's why it's good to have a little bit of play in the Z-axis while keeping your X and Y really, really tight. So that's what the spring's there for. The rods are there to provide the, uh, the X and Y rigidity while letting the Z fly. Um, in here, as you may have seen, uh, there are actually T-nuts on the inside of this, which allow these screws to tighten up and actually pinch this uh, this wood burner really tight inside of there as well as uh, just the clamping pressure of this whole bottom apparatus. These are my pipe clamps that I put on there and the pipe clamps just keep the whole bottom section, what I've been referring to as the bottom section of this, from falling off whenever the whole thing gets picked up. Um, the top part as you probably saw whenever I was assembling this, has a slot so I could feed in the wire 
That way I don't have to provide any sort of clamping on this. It's all just one solid piece and it's just easier to, to assemble and to print that way. I don't have to worry about so many tolerances and what if I squish this side more than that side. It, it just was easier this way. Um, the reason I didn't do that for the bottom is because I wanted to be able to take off the bottom part of the assembly, take it apart, and take the wood burner out. So, in my opinion, I thought it was easier to do it this way. So, this is what we got here. Um, I also printed in some slotted holes and that'll give me a little bit of play whenever I'm trying to mount this in the CNC machine. So as you can see here, there's a decent amount of spring. I don't need too much, just you know, five, six millimeters is all I need. And let's go mount this in the CNC and see if it works. So this is one of those open builds clamps that usually put your router in and it has a faceplate and you tighten it down and it pinches your router in there really well. Well I wanted this to be able to mount directly to the face of this clamp uh, just because it would just be so much easier to pull it in and out. I would hate to take off this whole apparatus every time I want to use this wood burner. So that's why it's made to fit directly onto this. Let's see if I can get it. It's hard to do this without blocking the camera view. But if I block the camera view a bit, I think you'll get over it. This is the whole apparatus hooked up. I think it looks pretty good. Um, also, in my last video, I think I talked about it, I just installed this receptacle up here, so I should just be able to plug this in, and it should be set. So we've seen how well this new wood burner can actually work making a project and how well did the actual apparatus hold up after making that project and I really think it held up pretty well. All the screws are still really tight, the spring still in the right position, the device is still rigidly mounted to the CNC, the plastic didn't deform which is one thing I was a little bit worried about with these temperatures from the wood burner. Everything looks good. The only concern I have is that this job took about 30 minutes ish and at the end of the 30 minutes I came over and felt these aluminum rods and they were warm to the touch not hot by any means just warm and um, I made sure when I was designing this that there was no metal on metal contact between the hot end of the wood burner and these rods but uh, it looks like the radiant heat actually synced into these rods not a huge deal if I was doing a job that was longer, let's say around an hour, I might feel these part way through just to make sure they weren't getting too warm. If they did get too warm, they could deform the tight tolerances that I have in all of these slots for the rods to allow them to slide easily. So that's just one thing I need to, to keep an eye on. But in general, I think it's really holding up really well. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope this inspired you to make something else. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.